Welcome to our latest IoT demo. This is a recent project from the partnership between Microsoft and Bentley for Doosan Heavy Industries. Just like the civil operations demo earlier this year, this also involves Azure Digital Twins and iTwin. And what this application does is it allows engineers at Doosan to monitor and predict the renewable energy output of a wind farm located off the coast of uh, South Korea. So we're going to dive straight into the demo. We start off in the town right next to the wind farm. This was some uh, reality data we added to the project to give the model some context. Towards the left, right off the coast, you can start seeing some 3D models of the wind turbines. Now there are 10 turbines in this model, and we're going to be able to view the live power produced by each individual turbine. Now where does this live power come from, the live data? That's a common question, and that's where the Microsoft bit comes in. We have an Azure Digital Twins instance that keeps track of all the sensors connected to each turbine. And we're able to query this data from our iTwin app and present it in a meaningful way. So let's go ahead and see what that will look like. We'll click on this uh, performance watchdog tab and this immediately starts fetching live data from ADT. Right off the bat, you can see the overall power being produced by the wind farm right now. In this case, it's uh, 6,058 kilowatts and you can see it update as time passes. And then we can zoom into individual turbines to get a more detailed view. So for example, when I select one of the turbines, we can see the power output and we can see other important values as well, such as the current blade pitch angles, the temperature of the components inside the turbine, and the exact wind conditions experienced by this particular turbine. Over in the power section, you will see that there are three power values. There's the observed power, which is the actual power produced, and the two other values are based on different prediction models that guess at what the power produced at this time could have been. The physical model uses basic physics and weather, and then there's the data model, which uses machine learning. The big question though is, uh, how do we make sure that this uh, prediction is working? Anytime the machine learning model fails to accurately track the power produced, we immediately send an alert to the user, which gives them an opportunity to investigate if there are any issues with the algorithm or with the turbine. These alerts are also sent in case there are issues with temperature or just uh, general power production. A second, more detailed investigation can be done when we look into the past. All we have to do is uh, double click on the power tile and bam, you can see the historic data for the power produced on this turbine, and you can see the actual observed power alongside the machine learning and physics prediction. For example, in this case, you can see that the machine learning prediction, the power DM, seems to have been quite effective as it's close to the actual power produced. Another important view uh, is this one right here, which shows the power produced by all turbines in the same graph, and this can be used to compare the historic performance of uh, all the turbines against each other. And with that, we are ready to move on to the future. All we have to do is click on this power prediction button and that kicks off the prediction mode. At this point, what happens is the app fetches weather data from a local weather service and feeds it to the machine learning model to finally obtain the predicted power. And you can see that the clock is uh, flying right now. Why is it in such a rush? That's because uh, we're simulating the next day's power of production with the predicted values from the machine learning that we just got. And you can see the play-by-play -play of the power output of the entire day. And you can see the same data in the chart below. And that sums up all the features of the app. One of the key issues with wind power is that it constantly fluctuates, making it difficult to manage and predict. This app brings together the past, the present, and future data to give a comprehensive perspective of the performance of the wind farm and provide deeper insights into the accuracy of various prediction models. Our hope is to help Tucson optimize the performance of their wind farms and ultimately create a more sustainable future.